In this video, I'm going to go over the settings as well as the people and grades tabs. Um, I'll start with the settings, it's the get big gear at the top right. When you click on the settings, this is where you can go to change any of your class details. So you can give more of a description for the class, you can put in things like a room and a subject. You'll also find things like the class code here and you'll see there's a drop down as well. So if I wanted to disable the code or reset it or copy it um, or even display it uh, a lot bigger, you've got those options there. Um, the next thing you'll see is on the stream. This is one thing that I think is a good thing to change right now. The default is that students can post and comment. Um, I think the best option is to have students can only comment. And what that means is in the stream where you put in updates, means that you, you're the one that puts in updates and students can comment and reply to that, but they can't create their own new um, kind of posting. Um, Another one that's a little bit more restrictive is only teachers can post or comment. So I'm just going to change mine to students can only comment. Um, and by the way, if you're worried about students who might comment things that you're not, that you wouldn't be happy with, I'll show you there's a way to do what's called muting a student um, if they're kids that you're, that you're concerned about. Um, the other thing that you've got is where it posts classwork on the stream. So um, that's one of the things that, that does get shown on the stream is when you do put up classwork, um, although you could hide that completely in the stream or you can have it show a lot more. I prefer the condensed notifications that is the default. Um, you could also show deleted items, although I'm not sure um, when you'd want to do that. Um, the other thing that you've got is you'll see an area for grading. So if you wanted to do grading in um, Google Classroom, you can choose whether you want to do it by total points or weighted by category. And if you do weighted by category, um, you can actually add um, grading categories in there as well. Um, that's not as applicable to um, to the elementary school level. So that's pretty much the class settings and I'll just click on the X at the top left to close out of that. Um, if I did make changes, um, discard, oh, I forgot, I, there's a save button um, right at the top that I did not click on. So save up at the top right and then it will take me, since I did make some changes, um, and then it'll take me back to my, my stream. Um, so again, students would be able to post comments now to, um, to things that I posted here. They can add a comment, but they wouldn't be able to start their own. Um, so let me go and show you next the People tab. That's up at the top. Click on People. And um, this is where you'll see any students in your class. Now you do have the ability, it does tell, give you the ability or says email students, but um, again, students who are at the elementary level don't have functional email addresses. So um, you actually wouldn't be able to email them, but you can see your students in this list. You can select all of the students by clicking on the top checkbox, or you can just select a certain student, and then you can click on the actions at the top, and this is where you can go to mute a student. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, it's also where you can go if you needed to remove a student from the class for whatever reason. So I'm going to show you mute. Um, and you can actually see it says mute in the student's name and it says muted students can still submit work. Um, other students won't see it, um, can't reply to their classmates work and can't post or can't comment or post. So if you did want to mute a student, you then click on mute um, and you'll see a little icon next to their name. And of course, if you wanted to unmute them, you could click on their name and again, go back and unmute them. So, and then again, it'll tell you what will happen if you unmute them. So again, that's for students who maybe maybe um, are a little impulsive in terms of what they might post. Um, the next thing you've got is grades. So this is an area where, again, if you're not really um, grading assignments, if um, so I'll show you there are two assignments that I have here posted. One where I did put a grade or did put total points in and I just left it alone so I could actually type in a grade for that once the student submitted the work and go to see it. And another one, this one was one um, an assignment that I set up where I set it as ungraded. So you can see it just keeps track of whether or not the student turned it in. And so I can see that one student turned it in, the other one didn't yet. Um, and you'll notice to the right, the three dots, um, lets me go. Um, and if I want to return the work to the student, of course, I probably want to view the submission before I return it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on View Submission. 
And then this is where it comes and tells me and shows me the student's name, shows me what they submitted. This is something where a student took a picture of the work and then, um, and then uploaded that image file um, to me. So one of the things you can see here, I've got different options. I can add a comment. So if I click on that, you'll see it says highlight an area to comment on. So I can select here and then I could type in a comment. Um, showing all steps, but a little messy. So maybe I want to put that comment in here. Um, so I've also got, there's another thing that just to show you this little comment bank, I'll click on that. That's where if you wanted to add and create a bunch of comments that you use on a regular basis to keep reusing, um, you can set that up here. So um, I'll go back to the grading tab um, and over here is where I could, if I wanted to open it in a new window, so opening it full screen. Um, if I wanted to give general comments, um, I, can, I can post those here as well. Um, at the end, what I can do is I can then click on return to return it to the student. I've also got a drop down here. Um, so if I wanted to not just return this one student submission, but I wanted to return more than um, one, I can um, do that. So I'm going to just click on return. And it says return work to one student. Student will be notified and can check any grade you've left. I'll go ahead and return that. So that's basically how you can see any work that students have submitted to you for any assignments that you've created. Um, one thing I want to point out is that when I did go to look to click on view submission, it opened a separate tab here. So I'm going to just X out of this tab and it puts me right back over here. Um, and you can see that check mark is showing me that I returned the, um, the assignment to, back to the student. So that concludes our tour of the settings and the um, people and the grades. Uh, so one last thing to get back to the main page, if you click on the name of the course at the top left, you're right back at your main um, stream for your Google Classroom.